Hey guys, MC Mura here, and today, once again, we're talking about Drive Rush. It feels like this is all we're talking about. This is where all of the discussions have been going on with Street Fighter 6 recently. Uh, I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit weird on this video. It's because uh, maybe you have noticed, or maybe the camera is too close. I don't know, but I've kind of nuked my room. Uh, it's totally empty now, so there may be a little bit of an echo going on, but this should be adjusted very shortly. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm gonna try to go for like a whole new setup and everything. Thing. Anyways, uh, recently there was this tweet by one Mr. Ryan Hart, and this got a lot of attention as you can see 60k views. Crouching medium kick, drive rush, crouching jab, let's play RBS. It's getting a bit stale for me. What do you guys think? Do you like it as it is due to the three bar spent, or do you have another idea? In an ideal scenario, what could be changed to spice it up a bit? And if you don't know what Mr. Ryan is talking about here, is obviously in this game you got the ability to cancel any normal into drive rush, right? And typically if this got a gap, the opponent can DB through it. So for example, here we got Kami. I'm gonna set her to OD cannon spike and say I go for a crouching medium kick into a standing medium punch, right? Uh, this string got a gap, so let's make her block and match that OD cannon spike on a reversal, right? So we're gonna try to go for this. There is a gap, she can get the punish counter, right? If I try to go for a crouching medium kick, drive rush grab, she can still punish me. The idea here is as long as there is a gap, a DP, an invincible move that can come out and that can punish you. And this is actually one of the main reasons that a character like Kami is very strong in this game. Having a DP, in my opinion, is essential. Right? Uh, if, if we switch Kami for, let's say, Dalsim, right? Let's have Dalsim here for a second, right? Dalsim doesn't really have an invincible option here that he can do. Uh, Ken can go for like a heavy bunch, Ken can go for a grab, Ken can go for like a medium, Ken can go for a jab into Shimi, Ken can do whatever he wants. He can't really challenge the gap that effectively. Now Dalsim obviously and everyone else got the parry option and the parry can be very rewarding but ADP here is very powerful. Anyways, what I was talking about is the fact that you can do like jab into drive rush. And did you notice this? If, like even though Kami tried to DP, it didn't come out. And that is because Ken doing a crouching medium kick, drive rush into crouching jab or jab in general, that is a true block string, right? This, this is a true block string. This gives Ken a plus three frame advantage that is True, the opponent, this is a true block string, the opponent cannot do so much about it. Now, you might tell me, Mura, there is a mechanic in this game that you can use on defense. It's called drive reversal, and you would be right. Uh, if we set Kami here to drive reversal, well, she can actually get a punish counter here. She can get me off of her. I can do crouching medium kick, drive rush, crouch up. You can do that, right? You're gonna get punished. But here's the thing. You have to do this drive reversal as a read on the crouching medium kick. You have to do it very early. If Ken doesn't do the cancel, he still kept his bar, I lost two, it's not really worth it, right? I have to do it right away. And you're not gonna do it like frame one. Let's say that you are doing it even on a prediction. This is typically what happened. Like even if I predict it and Ken doesn't really drive rush, uh, I'm gonna get punished. If he does do a drive rush indeed, then yes, I will get the punish counter. If you're trying to use it as reaction, like let's say I'm, I'm gonna set it to like 16 frame. If you have a 16 frame reaction or like a 17 frame reaction, you are an insane player. You're probably someone who's very young under the age of 20. Like you are probably ridiculous. So let's say that you got a 16 frame reaction or like 17 frame reaction, which is not really re real, but we're gonna go through with it anyways. Ken gets to block. So the drive reversal here doesn't really work. You can't use it as a reaction, you have to use it as a guess. You're guessing on it, and if the opponent doesn't commit to the drive rush, let's say you do it in the normal range, where it's like four or five frames of block stun, they block, you get punished, and you die. So it's very, very practical, it's very real that the opponent is gonna go for this crouching medium kick, into crouching jab, right? And then this puts them at a plus three advantage. And Ken can do a lot here. Obviously he can go for the grab. And Kami really can't back walk out of this uh, because the distance uh, and the frame advantage, so she can't really back walk out of it. He can go for other options like say a 
crouching light kick, crouching uh, ascending jab, right? So maybe something like this. Ah, uh, she's blocking. Well, let's make her block one hit. Right? This happens so much in this game. Like, you're gonna go for the tech, but then the opponent actually shake you low. Happens a lot. Or, as you know, maybe you just go for the grab, right? And this is the situation we're talking about. This pretty much effectively sets up a rock, paper, scissors. That, yes, there is an answer if you completely guess right on the crouching medium kick. You can get out of this with a drive reversal, but this is a this is a risk reward that's not it's not really that worth it. Like unless you get a hard read on it, it's usually not worth it. Which means that most likely you're gonna have to deal with this situation, right? This is the rock paper scissor Mr. Ryan was talking about. Ken plus three in your face, and you're gonna have to either take the throw. Or you're gonna have to try to guess on like a back dash or guess on something maybe try to tick but if you try to tick then he can shimmy you obviously shimmy but let's say here let's have Kami try to um, go for a throw break right and we're gonna delay this one because typically people like delay tick so we're gonna delay it by like 10 frames or so oh, this is a count uh, she's gonna delay by like let's say 10 frames or so right right uh, maybe even set it like to a lesser delay even at like six frames or so of delay uh, Kane will still be able to get a punish right so a delay tech here is very risky and obviously this can lose to buttons as well uh, so so it's, it's a risky option this sets up a true rock baber scissors right now you may say just take the throw now the issue with taking just taking the throw here is that as soon as Kane grabs you like he start regenerating drive so this is like the post throw situation and notice this can immediately start regenerating drive and unfortunately most of the really good characters in this game they got the ability to create a throw situation even mid screen there are some characters that don't get anything after a regular throw but can he he absolutely does uh let's say for example that ken does get the throw on you right now right let's say cammy to wake up od cannon spike she's gonna see me drive rushing and she's gonna cannon spike right i mean that's cool that's cool but here's the thing right he can stop it short and gets a punish right so ken does actually get a situation uh, let's say that cami is gonna go for a light punch right she's gonna try to check me with a light punch right his drive rush heavy punch actually does actually create the situation and obviously then uh, she may try to go for a parry on wake up which yes like this may actually catch me if i do like something that's really meaty and she gets a perfect parry uh, but then obviously this does lose to drive rush into grab and now cami have lost a lot of meter and can did gain a ton of meter in the process like check out the meter economy here and it will be completely like it, it'll be awful right cami in here is losing a lot and she's in the corner she have to go through the throw loop uh, it's not a great situation so the, the, the answer is, and the question is, do you think this is okay or do you not? Uh, where is the response? I've seen someone say like, there should, there like there needs to always be a gap. You should never be able to create a block string out of this one. And I do get that, like I get the idea, but the issue here is this will make it so that you 100% need to have a DP, right? If you don't have a DP and every situation now is this i feel like this is gonna make the gap even wider between the top characters and characters who don't i will say i play street fighter 4 i play street fighter 5 another i'm playing street fighter 6 this is the game where i felt like having an invincible reversal is almost a necessity simply because of the situation if i got the tp here i can always mash it if i have to deal with a block string fine if i don't uh, that's okay everyone else got to do it but yeah this, this situation is kind of rough so I, I i don't know maybe you can say we'll make drive reversals better right and i feel like that is an option that should be viable but the issue here is if you make it too good then there are characters like for example uh this uh this cutie that i'm playing right now right manon right like all of my tech grab setups are from drive rushes and i don't got a normal drive rush 
so this could completely screw her over there are a lot of characters in this game that don't have blast frames or really good way to set up pressure and they do need drive rush so if you take that away if you take away the drive rush cancels and its ability to set up blast frames then this could be problematic i would love to hear your thoughts do you think this is a problem to begin with or do you think this is totally fine me personally me personally if i'm to be totally honest i think it's okay I honestly think it's okay because if you do get the guests then you you make them lose a lot of bar and most of the characters uh, after a drive reversal like for example um right so let's just stop this situation right Cammy is gonna go for uh the drive rush here i knock her down now i got the advantage right so most of the cost actually if you do drive reversals they can get okay so i think that is good maybe speed up drive reversals a little bit if it's reactionary, if you can do it on reaction every time, I feel like this is gonna make the game very dull. Uh, I, I I kind of like it where it is. Uh, anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts. Like, where do you stand on this whole topic? If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. Help the channel so much. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.